One of the biggest things I see in golfers is a tough time in the transition from the backswing to the downswing, technically called transformation. What happens is the golfer is bringing the club back. He's going to accelerate his arms and his clubs as he brings the club back, but at some point he needs to start to decelerate the arms and the club so that he can start the club down in the downswing. Now at the same time, there is this distal deceleration, a deceleration of the arms and the club. There's going to be or should be an acceleration of the hips and the trunk forward to start the downswing, to uncoil the golf club. That's where the golfer is going to get a lot of club head speed and a lot of power and it's going to help with the distance. Unfortunately, most golfers will accelerate, decelerate, stop, and then accelerate the arms without the trunk leading the way. So that tends to lead to an over-the-top swing, cutting the ball and slicing the ball. So there needs to be practice at the brain-body connection to help with that deceleration, acceleration phase. Good exercise that you can do to help with that transition, that transformation of the backswing into the downswing, is to take a light weight, two, three pounds at the most. You really don't need a lot for this. You're gonna hold it in your trail arm. So for a right-handed golfer, it's gonna be that right arm, left-handed golfer, left arm. Hold it out in front of you, straight out. You're gonna swing the arm back and before you reach the end point, you're going to take a step with your target leg, your front leg, 45 degrees towards the target. And as you do so, you're going to swing this arm forward. So here you're working on the deceleration, acceleration component of the transformation of the golf swing. Swing that arm forward, come back to the starting point. Bring the arm back before you get to the end point. You're going to step back 45 degrees. Don't wait till you get to the end point and then step. Step as you're decelerating this arm. That's going to help with that deceleration, acceleration phase in the, in the golf swing. So again, swing the arm back, step, and bring it forward. Swing the arm back, step, and bring it forward. Do about 10 to 15 of those and then switch the dumbbell to the target arm. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to swing this arm again towards the backswing. Before you reach the end point, you're going to take a 45 degree step again towards the target and then rotate the arm across. Swing it back before you reach the end point. Take that 45 degree step. That's going to help the brain body connection and help you get a better transition in your downswing. Great exercise, it's gonna help your golf swing, it's gonna help you generate more power, get more distance in your swing.